smash. That moves ridiculous. But speaking of up smashes, because I needed a transition, we got a House of Three kid. I was in team kill. It is Helper and Dill kicking straight off, and I love that opener from Helper. Uh, dropped from platform Fyraga into up air, true combo, and an insane starter. Only 31, but still, that's good damage. Yeah, and I mean, the winner of this is going to be moving on to fight Gatsby in uh, uh, winner's finals. And honestly, I mean, I love seeing the uh, progress that Helper has been making, making it on to winner's semis here in uh, Xenos. So, I mean, just love seeing the, the, the progression. Yeah, he's finally found a character that can both uh, have sustainable reward and uh, an almost a sense of inevitability because of things like Sora's natural combos as well as up air um, having amazing knockback growth, but also can allow Helper to take their time instead of trying to play the pace of the game that everybody else is playing. He's finally found a character that can set his own tempo and Sora does that extremely well. Though Dill finding so many of these air dodge traps, unable to get the arm rotor afterward, giving Helper a chance to set up some Vandaga ledge traps or just go deep for an edge guard looking for the fares and the aerial sweep. All right, Dill able to make it back onto ledge, but just getting caught by the Blazaga and into the up smash as well. Helper's been catching so many of those recently, and Helper now with a stock lead. That is entirely a timing, uh, a timing mix-up and a timing guess. So the fact that Helper called out that Dill was uh, trying to get out of Blazaga early is excellent showing of just how Helper is going to understand and again setting that tempo where they really understand just how to get by and squeak by so many of these traps and so many of these uh, situations that Rob is traditionally strong in. Yeah, and I mean, Freeze is almost kind of like a better uh, berry mechanic because whereas, like great. we're seeing here, you know, when Helper tries to mash to get out of that, he starts, you know, Star starts shaking around, whereas no such visual cue exists for the Freeze mechanic, I believe. Yeah, you ju it's entirely based off of uh, off of a guessing game. It's, yeah, uh, in instinct. Yeah, a, co a coin flip and your knowledge of the opponent. There, one, two, just some simple combos here. Getting the bread and butters down, trying just to hold the lead. The sooner Helper gets off of Thundaga, the better, though. Uh, Dill is doing a great job of pressing in this center stage, throwing out Nair in such a position where Helper is unable to throw out one of these spells. Finally backing off, get ridding of, getting rid of that Thundaga immediately, and allow to establish stage control of his own. Ooh, all right, the gyro kind of colliding there with the up tilt. Making things awkward, but a nice landing confirm into F Smash. Now putting Dill in the corner once again. Yeah, unable to find some of these edge guarding attempts. Uh, Helper just either not committing or committing in the wrong place. Uh, Dill doing a great job of maneuvering in midair, going back and forth, holding the corner until the Thundaga strikes. Can Helper find this stock they can with the Ooh. second back air? And I mean, I feel like Dill has been playing uh, around the ledge very well thus far. We've seen uh, Dill, typically she does like very high recoveries, especially like with a battlefield platform, but respecting the verticality that Sora can offer this time though, Dill able to make it back to the top platform and get a neutral air as well. Yeah, it's little by little is the game that Helper needs to play. Trying to get a big gamble with the counter attack, not able to find any, any of its mark though. As long as you don't suffer your stock for it, as wow, that get up attack reached and extended off of the top in order to uh, just reach Dill in time. Fortunately, dropping the stock there thanks to a well placed uh, gyro toss. But hey, 50%, you're getting into a juggle scenario. You're trying to hold the lead, hold the position. Can't let anything slip through your fingers and, or let Rob go crazy. Yeah, and Helper just sitting at this kind of mid-range trying to get Dill to run into those uh, confirms and already 110%. Helper now potentially looking for a kill, getting the F tilt. Now putting Dill in the corner once again. Just a couple up airs, and this is this is the up air zone. If you are, if you're Sora, up air can uh, will start closing out stocks around this percent. You can confirm into it off of neutral air. Uh, it's a it's a move that does just about everything and really ties together Sora's kit so unbelievably well. One, two, up air. There is Helper taking game one over Dill. That's the up air zone, right? That's, you get is. you get to the 150, 160 mark, and it's like all right. The only really combos that work at this percentage are like Nair into up air or Nair into up B or Nair into full hop up B. So let's keep it simple. Let's keep it simple, stupid. Sim simple and clean. 
I didn't want to do it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't. Is there a simple and clean remix in Kingdom Hearts 3? There probably is. I don't. Never. Oh, in 3. In, I don't, in I don't 3, know. yeah. I didn't play 3. I've only Oof. played the first one. Okay, that's fair. If you're only going to play one and not get attached, one is the way to go. <laughs> really? I've, heard, I've heard like two is the golden child. Two, the is, the, two is the best one. But when if you jump straight into two, you're like, what the heck's going on? And, and at the end of the day, you just skip all the cutscenes and go right to the gameplay. Yeah. But if you're just going to play one and enjoy it for what it is and then let it go forever, Three, one is the best one to do that. Anyway, right. Kingdom Hearts well, nerd aside, <laughs> we're Dil, getting into town. Yeah, Dill taking things to town and city, which I think is arguably like both of these players' favorite stages. The town and city like platform really enables helpers ledge play, especially the way that you can just go completely underneath the stage. And of course, the uh, close blast zones of town and city really going to be enabling Dill's arm murder kills. Yeah, speaking or uh, not just arm rotor, any one of these specials could close out a stock off the side. As you have to harass Sora from deep or else he will make it back. Dill unable to close out the stock even at 98, and now the combos can begin. Just some simple stuff, but nothing, uh, always stuff that's going to keep uh, resetting the situation for Helper. Dill finds their way back though, up to looking for the upper. Uh, risky air dodge up, but man, Helper gets away with it and gets a back air for his troubles. Sometimes you just gotta have that situational awareness and helper. You know, I'm really been enjoying helper's um, willingness to go consistently off stage in ways that are both varied, uh, situationally aware, but also committed. It's like, hey, I'm always going to be trying and close out this stock. It didn't seem like he was ready for the DI on the down smash. Maybe he thought he was going to go the other way but you're still keeping yourself in this game because you're constantly threatening Dill to take longer recovery routes. Oh, Ooh, he's you're fine. fine. He's not fine. So like he was fine, but he played around the second down air, so he wasn't fine, which is like yet yeah, fair. Yeah. <laughs> Dill now with a commanding lead here in game two, still sitting pretty at three stocks while Helper Potentially going to have to step in on the gas a little bit more. Waiting for a reset right there. Yeah, the unfortunate part for Helper is uh, Sora's main comeback varieties come the fact that his uh, he can flex his combo tree, especially as Rage gets higher and higher, with combo roots like uh, IDJ up airs, uh, fast, fall, uh, fast fall IDJ nares and fares, uh, aka the R's Arcanum. And you have that flexibility in order to try and extend those, uh, bring back those leads with that combo tree, but Helper is not a combo-oriented player. He much prefers a controlled game state, which Dill is absolutely going to take every day of the week. He's like, hey, you have to earn every single one of these percentage points. That's fine. We'll play neutral for four and a half minutes. Yeah, and I mean, especially the way that Dill plays a, a very defensive Rob and right there reacting to Helper swinging in the perfect up smash range. So it, it didn't really come into play, but I mean, even in that point, Dill really Escape. just was able to, <laughs> really just was able to play the chip game. For sure. As what is we, Dill thinking? We got, when Dill is focused, she is zoned in. Like this is, like, her eyes are all in. <laughs> Like she's not looking at the screen. She's looking into Helper's soul. Shoutouts to this play, though. Recogni not only is it recognition from Dill, it's counterplay to Sora specifically. Because in this position, Sora theoretically has initiative. He can bounce off your shield a total of three times and fast fall the third hit in order to make it extra safe. But if you have a high enough reaching up smash, hi everybody. Hi. Then <laughs> if you have a high ah. enough reaching up smash, suddenly a position of strength for Sora becomes a, it becomes a guess, becomes a 50-50 and a spacing check rather than just exclusively like um, Dill having to hold Sora's advantage. And as we see immediately, Helper starting to fast fall Nair 2 much earlier to avoid said up smash, trying to decondition Dill from going for uh, from going for that out of shield option right from the word go. Absolutely. Alright, using the counter there to get through the gyro, but Dill, once again, ready, not really respecting the, the third side B. 
getting an up smash. Albert does have Gyro in hand here. And Sora has a solid suite of specials in order to just... Oh, okay, he dropped it. That's unfortunate. The random item drop chance. Woo, woo. <laughs> Snake means eat your heart out. <laughs> okay, come on. That's not real. <laughs> it's tough, though. I mean, that's why... That's why Sora... Uh, Rob players have constantly put Sora in, like, this weird, like, maybe losing, but sometimes Rob does Rob things because you can just kind of get the fakest stuff as Sora's because Rob is so big and the big swi uh, swinging disjoints of that Keyblade cover so much space in midair. Absolutely. <laughs> the yep. Thundaga just delivering Amazon Prime the gyro into <laughs> Dill's hand. It's like, oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I, I missed kind. that. Ooh, got the roll behind, but Dill didn't uh, didn't pull the trigger on anything. Trying to stall. Wow, actually, Helper going for a a risky forward air there. Had to contest with yet more ledge play. But Dill's been backing off a lot more on ledge. If they're not putting out a down air, they're playing at roll distance or even further in. It's a lot of respect towards Sonic Blade and a lot of respect toward uh, towards all of Sora's reversals from ledge. All right. Should be seeing Blizzaga from ledge. Dill not giving Helper the chance. Coming in with the neutral air to you know, beat out that from above. And now Dill with a stock lead. Almost like well over two minutes in as well. Now, Forrest, we saw this in the previous game as well, where Helper was uh, got behind in the first stock. And Dill was just able to really snowball into not only to a tune of 60%, that hurricane drop not only uh, closed out the stock in a in a desperate way for Helper, but it forced Dill a little bit of a head shake. Got to keep your head in the game. I know you lose a lot from just getting hit by hurricane uh, down air like that, but keep your cool. Yeah, definitely kind of a... A story of needing to keep patience on both sides, especially with yes, the the very agree. defensive way that both of these players play. Both of these players and both of these characters. Rob has a lot more flexibility, but in order to try and maintain, in order to play the Sora matchup effectively, you can't rush anything. You have to just let Sora be floaty, be awkward, do your thing, and I'll play around the I'll play around these ranges. And on honestly, just kind of running around, holding shield, these short hop commitments, trying to hold that space. Like, this, you're forcing Helper into more and more desperate situations, especially as the percent gets higher, but get a little bit too close and you're susceptible to that Nair out of shield, which can convert into just about anything. You're at 145, 161 now. This is Nair up smash percents to close out stocks, even on Battlefield. Absolutely. I love the way that Helper has been using the Thundaga there at that exact range, kind of turning what is usually a very safe space for Rob to try and throw out the, the gyro and really keeping Dill uncomfortable. Now 180 on Helper has to, or uses the air dodge to get back. Where, where are they going? Okay, uh, they're, 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 both, yeah, they're both making it back just in time. 180, yeah. uh, an up throw ought to do it. For, uh, the up throw definitely does it on the part of Dill. It's just a matter of finding that grab. Still choosing to play the slow game, spacing out forward airs, spacing out gyros, and not letting Helper get any commitment on the land. There is playoff stage enough, and you eventually find that opening, and the startup of Thundaga was exactly that opening. Yep. Helper now on his winner's side stock, and the percent just keeps on coming from Dill. All right, getting the confirm, but unfortunately not able to find a kill out of it. No rage on line for Helper, but the neutral air is into F-Tilt. Now taking Dill to last stop, game three. I like the pivot into F-Tilt there, because you just flashed forwards uh, up smash in your Nair conversions, pivoting over to forward tilt, catching the Misty Eye from Dill. Excellent stuff from Helper, picking and choosing the combo routes as best as they can, and keeping this game even because of it. That's an up throw into just a forward air, though, setting up for yet more ledge play. And no jump on the part of Helper, still no jump, but not able to intercept the Sonic Blade quite yet. Dill in control of this Force Armor, but could we see the up smash closer? No, looking for no. the up tilt. Oh, tense. Tension keeps on coming. Helper. Helper trying to slowly make his way into Dill's space with the neutral airs, but Dill able to push him back away. Yeah, interesting connections of that Nair there. Again, stuck on Thundaga, not wanting to risk it. Gets the Nair into the fair. 
Going to chase, choosing to chase, but in a safe manner, always Ooh. drifting back. What a back air from Dill as the clock reaches 1 minute 14 seconds. I don't think we're, we're definitely not going to time, but it's something, uh, it just goes to show just how patient both of these players are playing every is, little bit. It is a hard fought victory either way. For Coming sure. down to less than a minute on a clock. This is a re-grab situation. Dill reading the Sonic Blade back onto stage, but and perfectly timing in between the Sonic Blades. Dill clutching it out with the the last stock, uh, almost last hit, uh, game three. So I, I would call it last hit because if Sora gets onto stage here, all it takes is like Nair one two, IDJ up air up mm -hmm. uh, up air. Maybe you close out a stock yeah. there. You get like Nair Nair on a platform up smash. Like Sora has. I think that's one of the biggest weaknesses of Helper's play. Like, he has got the neutral down. He's got the bread and butters down. What evolves your combo, what evolves Sora from just a, K, a control style character into, the, and into a character that has the ability to not only control the game, but also turn the corner, is those extra situational combos. And especially on Battlefield, having access to, like, Nair, uh, Nair 1-2, land on platform near one two up smash or things of that like can transform the stage from not just having big blast zones and means to cover yourself but also hey i can close out stocks from anywhere on the stage absolutely uh, and i mean especially you know on a character like rob too that's oh, gotta sure. be gotta be part of your game plan